afternoon. Welcome to Pets on Parade, which is brought to you by 3TV. I'm Ashley Goble from the Arizona Humane Society. And I'm Carrie Hughes. Thank you so much for joining us today. We have a great show in store for you today. We'll introduce you to Willie, a very rambunctious, hardy pup whose resilience and steadfast determination gave him the ability to overcome all the odds. Also, we'll introduce you to a kitty named Hot Rod, who was rescued by emergency animal medical technicians after a dangerous car ride through town. And it's a story on par with Lady and the Tramp, how Bruce and Sophia have become inseparable friends. We'll tell you about their special friendship later on in the show. But first, let's meet Daisy, a 10-week-old tortie who will snuggle up with you. She is just too cute. She's particularly fond of kids and showers them with love and attention. She'll sleep pillow at night, and when she isn't curled up in your arms, this inquisitive little kitty enjoys climbing on kitty condos and in soda boxes. She will just keep you in stitches, that's for sure. <laughs> the uh, month of June is Adopt a Shelter Cat Month. We just love cats at the Arizona Humane Society. We have over a hundred adoptable felines at our shelter, including a couple of Siamese, a Maine Coon, a few Russian Blue Kittens, and some gorgeous tabby cats with bold stripes. Um, we wanted to share a, rest, a recent adoption success story with you to start off the show. One of our feline adopters took home Smeagol there he is hanging out. He's a beautiful Devon Rex kitty from our Sunny Slope campus. And his owner says Smeagol's getting along great with her three-year-old male cat, Nugget. The two of them are inseparable and make just the cutest pair. Well, if you would like to add a feline to your home, AHS has tons of adorable little kitties from docile to spunky and... <laughs> You know, just, they're all so cute. So let's meet a few of our first contenders. And Lisa, you have three adventure seekers, and thankfully you have the help of Sarah and our kiddo helper, Carson, at Juggle This Spunky Trio of Felines. Tell us all about them. Well, this wonderful little litter was uh, found in someone's backyard, and they fostered in place. The two Siamese are Jack and Jill, and um, I have Stormy here, the little gray tortie. So uh, what basically the family did was they noticed that a stray cat had had a litter in their backyard and they were able to just keep a watchful eye over mama, making sure she came back every day and she did. She was a wonderful mom and she raised these guys. And then they brought the mom into the shelter. She was spayed and returned back out. And these guys were brought inside for four weeks of uh, socialization. And as you can see, they're good with cats, kids, dogs, just about anybody. They're spunky as can be on the show here, but we do have a report. If you leave a towel on the floor, they will burrow underneath and fall fast asleep when they're all tired. <laughs> Hang on to that Siamese Carson. He's a rowdy one. Well, kitten season is here, and we are excited to announce that we had our first group of kitten graduates from our kitten nursery this week. The nursery, which is currently home to over seven to 77 kittens provides medical treatment and socialization to kitties that are about five to eight weeks old and much too young to go out for adoption. Our staff, volunteers, and uh, doggy nanny boots here play a critical role in caring for these little wee ones and socializing them so they can start off on the right track when they're released into the world, real world. And last year, we saved 500 kittens through this kitten nursery program. Mm, that's wonderful to hear. Well, we love Emma, an American bulldog for her adorable short muzzle, her clumsy antics, and overly affectionate sloppy, sloppy kisses. And Perry, we, even her tendency to snore during a nap is just too cute. <laughs> you know, Ashley, we, we, don't, uh, we get a, a lot of American bulldogs. We don't talk about them a lot. I think everybody's more familiar with the English bulldog. This is the American bulldog, a little bit bigger, although Emma here is a little bit on the small side, even for an American. A little lankier, but big and strong. This girl is 60 pounds, but she's 60 pounds of love, and she's a great lap dog. She is a staff favorite. She is a stray. She came into us without much of a history, but she's just wooed everybody at the shelter, all the volunteers and staff. She is a great gal. She's very, actually very well behaved. She walks nicely on leash. And like you said, they don't come any prettier as an American Bulldog than Emma does here. Check her out. She's the little black and white one. Her name is Emma. I know she loves kisses. <laughs> That's Aww. so wonderful. Love those bully breeds. Uh, you know, monsoon season is upon us, and with it comes unpredictable weather patterns and dust storms, both of which can be bad news for our furry friends. The pets that are left outside are more prone to valley fever. It's an airborne fungus that can lead to lung infection and an intense treatment. So it's always best to keep your pets distracted indoors during 
rain and dust storms so that pets aren't tempted to run away. And uh, also with the flood season, you want to make sure that you have a supply kit full of goodies just in case something happens. We have wildfires coming up upon us, flood season. So make sure you have a little kit that's prepared. Get some kitty food, your medical records, a copy of those would be great. Water, food, bowls, an extra leash and collar is always handy as well. Okay, you want to help me out here? Go! Oh. With the kitty. I like, where to go? It's always handy to have, you know, in case of an emergency. So pack up a bag just to be prepared in case of some kind of disaster. Who is next to introduce Well, us this to? is Willie, and Willie is just a very sweet puppy. It's amazing how animals provide unconditional love regardless of the hardships they've faced. Ski, this puppy spent much of his first few months in life struggling to survive. Yes, he actually did. He was found by our EAMTs out on the street. Um, he must have had it very, very rough out there. He was loaded with ticks. His belly was distended with worms. He um, had a broken tail. He had some other problems that uh, the hospital was able to get rectified. He was able to go with Robbie into foster care. And in just a few weeks, he came out of his shell, turned around, and is just the most inquisitive, loving little puppy that you could ever want to be around. He doesn't remember anything, I think, that had happened to him in the past. Super smart. He's a fast learner. I've been playing with him here in the studio. Um, typical puppy. He's going to need an uh, intro to kids, other, other animals in the house, and also, you know, puppy training, which, as you know, is now available here at the Arizona Humane Society. So um, he's super kind, affectionate, loves his belly rubs, and is looking to go to a home that really just wants to have a rough-and-tumble kind of dog. Having some fun with Willie there. What a sweet boy he is. Plenty of toys as well. You know, we can't stress enough how important it is to vaccinate your puppies during this time of year. Vaccinations help protect our pets from contagious diseases. And every Friday, our shelter offers vaccinations for just $20 at our two walk-in clinics. No appointment is necessary. And you can find more info on our public clinic services by visiting azhumane.org. Well, we have my favorite dog at the shelter right now here today. This beautiful border collie, Maggie May, has won over my heart. She is the sweetest doggy Perry. She's just so kind and gentle and mellow, and I've spent lots of time with her this week. You got it right, uh, Carrie. She's everything you just said she is. And she's one of our doggies that came to us from our friends at Maricopa County, our New Hope program, where we take dogs from the county shelter to give them that second chance here. And like you said, she is so well-behaved. Uh, just, you know, if you don't know anything about the Border Collie breed, though, this is a very, very intelligent breed. They need lots of exercise and lots of mind games, too. So you have to make sure that Maggie does have something to do in your home. She is another black and white dog. As we've had three in a row right now. She's very, very gentle. She seems great with all the other animals here in the, in the, uh, on the show. And she's just a real love. It took her a little while to collapse into my lap like she did, but she's doing really, really great now. Come on down and check out. The really, really pretty Maggie May. Boy, she is pretty. Maggie was actually a stray, and sadly, she was never reunited with her owner. We all know that sinking feeling that comes with discovering your furry friend is missing. But the sooner you begin your search, the better. And it's best to start, you know, at a local animal shelter. Make sure that you post flyers around the neighborhood and in local pet shops. And these websites here listed on your screen will also increase your chances of being re reunited with your lost pet. Lucky and Luke are two very frisky felines who will play with just about anything that wiggles. Their imaginations stretch beyond just toy mice and jingle balls. Ski, these two brothers will also play with hair ties and bottle caps. These guys have just been with their little leashes here. Carson's been trying to control this one over here, and he's got a mind of his own. He wants to be all over this table, all over the studio. They are full of energy, as typical little kittens are. But these guys are very much love to explore. If you put them down in, in the middle of a room somewhere, they're not going to go hide and check, you know, kind of look and see what's going on. They are going to just go and explore every square inch of that room um, so that they can know what's going on. And so they're going to definitely be energetic little kittens that are going to fill a home with a lot of... Um, Love and definitely, I would say, some rambunctious action <laughs> because they are definitely four on the floor right here. Oh, they are cute.